So under in the lungs, so your lungs are part of the respiratory system, a group of organs and tissues that work together to help you breathe. So here are the lungs. Um, your lungs receive oxygen from the tubes at the bottom of your windpipe that connect into each lung. The lungs expand and contract during the process of breathing. Um, for the diaphragm, just down here, it's an involuntary smooth muscle which forms the base of the chest cavity that contracts and relaxes to control breathing. While inhaling, the diaphragm contracts and pulls downwards while the muscles between the ribs contract and pull upwards. When exhaling, the diaphragm relaxes and the volume of the thoracic cavity decreases while the pressure within it increases. As a result, the lungs contra contract and air is forced out. The alveoli here in the lungs uh, are where the lungs and blood exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide during the process of breathing in and breathing out. Oxygen breathed in from the air passes through the alveoli and into the blood and travels to the tissues throughout the body. Okay, the cardiovascular system structures. I'm doing the left side of the heart, so which is here. Um, this side, oops, <laughs> this left side of your heart receives oxygen rich blood from your lungs and pumps oxygenated blood through your arteries to the rest of your body. So, for the right side of the heart, two chambers. Um, the right atrium up here, which receives the deoxygenated blood, and then the right ventricle down here, which is how the blood gets pumped into the lungs. Um, the capillaries can explain the function of the structure. Um, the capillaries are throughout the heart and the lungs. Um, move oxygen nutrients from the blood um, through the walls to get into the organs and tissues. The capillaries also take waste products away from the tissues. Uh, capillaries are also where oxygen and nutrients are exchanged from carbon dioxide and waste. Okay, so when Logan runs, um, his oxygen is going to get carried to the muscles through the red blood cells. Whether he's exercising or not, the oxygen in your body is used to break down glucose, glucose, creating fuel for your muscles. That is the ATP system. This molecule is the source of energy that keeps your body going. So. During the exercise, the heart typically beats faster so that more blood gets out to your muscles. Um, your heart can also increase its stroke volume by pumping more forcefully uh, or increasing the amount of blood that fills the left ventricle and that pumps it.